Hi. So we, I mentioned this in a recent video, we are going to be remodeling our bathrooms and the contractors want to get started soon. We're waiting on some tile for our upstairs bathroom. We actually were planning on doing no tile at all and just Tadalact, which is a type of waterproof like wall finish. It sort of looks like Venetian plaster. It's like that. You've seen it everywhere, I'm sure. It sort of looks like lime washed. It's very mottled and it has like this kind of shiny burnished finish and you like wax it when you're all done and it's completely waterproof and there's no grout lines or anything. And so my contractors did it. It didn't work out. It was a very finicky product. They had never used it before. So we are instead going to tile in the shower area and they've already finished the tile floor like the bathroom's pretty much done it just needs now a tiled shower and like some finishing on the walls so we ordered that and we decided on a zalige tile which is a type of i think it's like a moroccan i might be wrong here i think it's like a moroccan tile that's made out of terracotta and they're like glazed. They're really pretty. They're really irregular. Um, we chose a color that is, we don't know. We didn't get a sample. And it, I don't know, dude, we're just kind of going off of vibes here. We have a green tub, a wooden vanity, black. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. We'll see how this <laughs> turns up. But either way, we still have a lot of materials to get. So I thought what I would do for today's video is bring you guys along with me while I browse online for materials and I will um like screen record my computer and you guys can like shop with me online and see what i am looking at i don't know if i'm gonna actually buy anything right now i need to get things on order though so we can shop together we have like i said three bathrooms i'll show you the tile that we already bought it is from claytile.com and i'll show you okay so parched vellum i think is the color yeah this is the color that we bought here and our bathroom is this color. Hang on. It is uh, color Atelier Wabi. So the bathroom itself is this color here, which is called Wabi from Color Atelier. And you can see how it's like sort of this. Oh my God, F off. You can see how it's sort of this mottled like sort of like a warm that's the color of the wall itself you can see like this is wabi here and this is what it looks like when it's done correctly um it's really pretty and modeled this is like a really crappy picture obviously here's one as well and then this is the color that we bought in tile so i think it might go well the other color that they have is like sea salt and then they have this other one which is weathered white it just looked a little too bluish for me i think this parched vellum is going to look pretty and i'll show you the tub that we have basically this is the tub that we got for the bathroom and i got black finishes with it See, <laughs> this all sounds really weird and like it's not going to go very well together but you'll see oh okay this is the tub that's what it looks like the cast iron hunter green it has these like um look at you can look at the feet of it the feet i got in the same color as the tub but this is what it looks like. And for some reason, I just think when we get plants into the bathroom, when we get other finishes going, and with this silage tile on the wall, I just feel like it might work. I'm not sure. The feet that we got are not silver. They are the same exact green color as the tub. It's been so long since we purchased everything that I truly don't know what's going to look good together anymore. But I guess in the worst case scenario, we'll just paint the outside of the tub. Like if it looks terrible with that green color, we'll just totally go another direction and maybe paint it like a, I don't know, terracotta -y color or something. We'll figure it out, dude. Like it's really not that deep. The tub's just been sitting up there forever because the bathroom's so unfinished, but I think it'll be really pretty. We've never had a clawfoot tub before and we bought that years ago. It's just been sitting there being beautiful and it's a cast iron. I wanted to show you guys what we already bought. So now I want to go through and look for the downstairs bathroom down here. So I'm thinking for down here, I want to go with Probably a green or, um, let me look here and see what other colors we have. This one's really pretty as well. The golden henna, I like that a lot. Ooh, they have a gold, sheesh. My husband really likes this color here, like the pink color. I like the pink too. Um, I don't know what to do. It's so hard to choose. We don't have to go with this brand, obviously. Um, especially since they're expensive and we bought the ones a while ago and well, we haven't received anything yet. 
But I like this look, like the vertical tiles, how everyone's doing them now. Um, so I don't know what to do. I'm thinking if I can think of any color that I want to go with, I'm thinking either this one here, which is the cindered olive. I really like this a lot. I just think it's so pretty. I'm thinking for the tile in our bathroom. It's a really small bathroom right now with just like a typical, uh, what's it called? Plastic like plastic shower, you know, the ones that you can just get the inserts from like Home Depot or whatever. And I'm thinking that we're going to take that whole thing out and get like either a standalone little tub that we can put in there. We do want to keep like a full bath down here because our son takes a bath every single night pretty much. And we want to have that. So we're probably going to get just like a tiled in bath section and have like a combo bath shower. Um, I really like this color, but I just don't know. I don't feel like there's any way we won't like it. See, I'm like torn. Do we like, cause we have like kind of that green wood leather. That's like the plants. Like that's the vibe we have going on the outer area of our house. So do we carry that on in the bathroom downstairs and then do something really fun with the upstairs bathroom, which upstairs right now, we kind of have more, like I have the two rooms. We have like my son's room, which has like the whimsical forest stuff going on in it. We've got my filming room, which has a green wall. And I feel like we've completed the green in that point. So I feel like the upstairs bathroom, we could really have fun with it and do like pink or like kind of like a terracotta-y color or like, you know what I mean? Just like something totally different. Maybe I should continue the green theme throughout here. I feel like that would be cohesive. It would be really pretty. Okay, okay, okay. Here, we're getting into it. So I feel like of all of them so far, this is the one I really like the most. But I don't want to do tile in the whole entire bathroom. And I don't want the entire bathroom to just be green. You know what I mean? So I think let's choose or some like texture on the walls. Like how this has like the liney walls. Maybe I need that because right now the walls are just super plain. There's one that, so Color Atelier does a lime wash, but then Portola, I, I, this is the one that, um, what's his name? Drew, Lone Fox, he uses Portola all the time. His look great. Okay, colors, let's see. Roman clay or lime wash, I think. Ooh, what's the difference? I'm just gonna go lime wash because I know about lime wash. Okay, so you can see all the different choices. See, if we did like a half moon bay or a Ooh, shelter is really pretty. Let me look at that. You can purchase a sample jar, which is cool. Um, so these are their colors. But you see, this is what I mean by like, if we wanted to do something like a pink in that upstairs bathroom, just have so much fun with it. Like either with this Merida or the Potter's Clay. Ooh, this color is really pretty too. Duet. Just like a soft... Okay, so of all of these, I really like Shelter. Dark Side is kind of a freaking vibe, dude. Look at that. Smoke dusted green with cool undertones. Oof. That could be really pretty in a bathroom. Really pretty. Let's look at Color Atelier. So they also have lime wash, and I've ordered from these guys many times because we did that entire bathroom upstairs. So let's go colors. Oh, they have a lot of colors. Plum. <laughs> Imagine a plum colored bathroom. That would be gorge. Cypress ink. Cobblestone doesn't have one, but that's so pretty. I want to see it on someone's walls. Oh, this one's pretty. This is a dark olive green that is muted, but is still bold and yet feels earthy. Okay, this picture is 12 pixels and taken on a potato, but that's pretty. I don't hate it. And I like the arched mirror. Okay, what do you guys think? I think I'm liking Color Atelier's paint a little bit better. So this is more of like a cool green. A deep green that is refined, richly pigmented, strong but subdued. Okay, let's see this in a room. Oh, I do like it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like that very much. And you know what? The green that we have going on downstairs 
to have an olive might actually be kind of not right because we have these curtains that are hanging up in the living room and they're sort of more, I would say they're honestly exactly this shade right here. Um, and they're like hanging on the sides of our windows there. And then our cabinets, we went with the color. This is the color of our cabinets. Let's pull it up online. Jasper, this is the color of our cabinets. What I will say is that this picture does not look like what it looks like in person. They look much darker. I would say this is what it looks like in person. So you see this wall here, how that looks dark. And this, this is more like it. It doesn't, it looked in a swatch. Like it kind of has like a, like a, smoky undertone no it looks more like this but it actually looks really nice i love having the green cabinets it's the dark um moody look that we wanted then we have a ton of plants everywhere and stuff like that so i think actually a color like this in the bathroom would look so stunning i found that song stuck in my head all day so this is the color that initially I absolutely loved when I saw it online. The only thing is that I feel like everybody uses this color and I don't know that it goes with that. And maybe that's just too much green, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. This is what stops me. I have to just make a decision and stick with it because I get um, I get frozen if I don't make decisions. Let's let's take a um, let's go to a small bathroom vanity. So I go with a wood vanity for the small bathroom. I like that, like a little rattan. I like open vanities because so the difference between an open vanity and like. A regular one would be you see how this one goes down to the ground I like ones that stand on legs or that have that stand on legs but have like so not this one obviously I'm not like a fan of that color but I like how it has the open bottom that you can have storage in there's something about that that makes the space feel way more open and not so like bulky and closed off and right now it goes all the way to the ground um, so I definitely gear more towards like for this bathroom, I really like this one. Let's see. I bet you it's out of stock. Swiss Madison 24 inch Class A bathroom vanity. 24 inch is pretty small, but this is a very small bathroom. So the more room we can have, the better, but we do definitely need storage in here. So what I think I'm gonna do is get some over the toilet storage as well. We would need over the toilet. We could even build custom shelves. I'll probably, that's probably what I'll do actually is just have my contractors build custom shelves. So like shelves over the toilet. It knew what I wanted because it's listening. Uh, Ooh, I like how this one has the arch that would match with the arch of the, um, here. Well, I am filming a YouTube video, t -Wolf. He never gets his own, t -Wolf. Ever. This doesn't matter, but I definitely want there to be storage over the toilet because there's just, it's such a small bathroom that we don't have much to work with in regards to, like, space. So we need to really, like, formulate it in a good way to where the bathroom makes perfect sense yeah because how pretty would that be in there these copper tubs are a little much though i'm gonna be honest with you they feel a little bit silly but they are cool they are like three thousand dollars don't, we don't need a freestanding tub i know but do you want one or do you want to get just like a regular tub mm. I'm fine with the regular tub and then just do tile above it. Okay. Yeah, this would be nicer. But Is really... it nicer though? Or do they no, just kind of... They kind of get water behind them and they're kind of the pain in the ass. But they and you have to re nicer. They do look nicer, but like, I don't know. This is all so much. Anyway, now that you guys have seen kind of the vibe. Here, let me show you like a, a true vibe of what we're looking for. Like the vibiest bathroom. Is that what I should type into Pinterest? Let's find one that's like totally the vibe. So I've already told you guys I really like this one. Not so much like the gold hardware. You know what? I kind of like it. I'm not even gonna lie. Like my, my style, style is changing as time evolves. 
Um, Lone Fox Home. This is literally him. I like this bathroom. It's a little too much white for me, though. I want it to be like a darker, vibier. So I'm thinking... Kind of like that. It's kind of weird, but... Sorry about that background noise. The freeze dryer's going. We're freeze drying some apples. That, but a little more real people ha have this kind of bathroom. Like nobody ha does have a ladder in their shower. Um, you know what I'm saying though? Like kind of like this, sort of. I like that mirror a lot. You can see woods and greens vibes. Okay, so now you guys know what I like. You can let me know if you guys see anything that you like. Um, maybe you can send me pins or you can take some screenshots and DM them or whatever you guys think. Um, or you don't have to do any of this and you could just carry on living your lives with your own families. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and uh, I really appreciate it. The last two days, some people were like, oh, you didn't upload every day. I did, but they were just shorts. I just did YouTube shorts because I was out and about and uh, just doing so much. And then I, yesterday, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just forgot. I'm so not into the um, groove of this yet. You know, I just haven't remembered that I upload every day. Just for the first few days, I remember. But then I was, yesterday, it was like 3.30 and Zach's like, are you gonna upload today? And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll I'll take you guys along on this project. So for Sweet Life of Zach and Christy, I'm gonna be um, documenting the whole like remodel. We, that's where we started all of our remodel content before. And the house just looks so beautiful and wonderful. Our contractors did such an amazing job. So I'll bring you guys along this whole process. And I just know no matter what it looks like, it's gonna look amazing because the bathroom right now is just blank slate. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.